Bibles, no pads and pens. Hit take notes, yeah, take notes. Israel's church couch conversation. Let's get in these scripts, digging these scripts. Couch, come on, learn with us. Yeah. Come on, turn with us. Uh, in this world with us. Couch <laughs> conversation. Ha. Peace and welcome back to Couch Conversation. We will continue on with this book of Hebrews chapter 7, where the writer of Hebrews is now going to begin to speak about the superiority of the order of Melchizedek over the order of Aaron by making um, some points, okay? So we're going to go ahead, get your pen, your pad, and take some notes and follow along. Okay. Hebrews 7 and verse 1. Hebrews 7 and 1 says, For this Melchizedek, king of Salem, priest of the Most High God, who met Abraham returning from the slaughter of the kings and blessed him. All right, so he's just about to start um, speaking about um, this one Melchizedek because um, back in Hebrews chapter 6 and verse 20, he said that Jesus is made a high priest after the order of Melchizedek. Mm -hmm. Um, verse 2. Verse 2. To whom also Abraham gave a tenth part of all. First, being by interpretation king of righteousness, and after that also king of Salem, mm -hmm. which is king of peace. So he's saying, and Abraham, our forefather, gave a tenth part of all to this, mm -hmm. um, uh, to Melchizedek, and then he interprets the um the the name which means the king of righteousness and then you have the king of salem which means peace salem or shalom yes. or shalom how mm -hmm. we say it verse three without father without mother without descent having neither beginning of days nor end of life but made like unto the son of god abideth a priest continually. So he's making points that, you know, in this one, there is no record mm -hmm. of a genealogy. It's father, mother. Um, we don't we don't see uh, who he descended from. Mm -hmm. So that, that gets rid of Shem. That get rid of Shem. So Shem is not Melchizedek. No. But they'll say it anyway. They'll read this and still say it. Mm -hmm. But I know one that said, before Abraham was, I, I am. am. That's right. Uh -oh. mm. Verse 4. Now consider how great this man was, unto whom even the patriarch Abraham gave the tenth of the spoils. Right. So now he's saying, now consider, just think about it, how great this man was, mm -hmm. unto whom even the patriarch, Abraham, who we know Israel like to boast mm -hmm. on, even he, our father Abraham, gave the tenth of the spoils to this one, Melchizedek. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Oh, y'all, it get deep. Mm -hmm. But let's go to Genesis <laughs> chapter 14 and verse 14. Okay. Because family, what you're going to learn is that Melchizedek has always been here. Mm -hmm. This priesthood. And Christ brought this priesthood back. Mm -hmm. This priesthood had been passed down, given to Abraham all the way down. Yes. To Moses, to give to the children of Israel. We were supposed to be a kingdom of priests. That's right. But Christ came to bring us back. Not a kingdom with priests, the yes. Levites, but a kingdom of priests. Mm-hmm. Just let it marinate. I know. <laughs> Just let it sizzle on your head. <laughs> Genesis 14 and verse 14. Genesis 14 says, And when Abram heard that his brother was taken captive, he armed his trained servants, born in his own house, 318, and pursued them unto Dan. Mm, so we see Abraham loved his neighbor. Yes. He loved his brother. Mm-hmm. And so even if it, it locks his nephew, notice how he said brother. Brother. It's my brother. Mm -hmm. Our people don't think like that no more. No. How our patriarch Abraham mm -hmm. fought. That's right. Mm -hmm. Verse 15. 
And he divided himself against them, he and his servants, by night, and smote them. Not Abraham. Mm-hmm. Father Abraham. Faithful Abraham. That one, he started. Father to Abraham, he or he is so <laughs> weak. That Father one. Abraham. That's right. That one. Be it his <laughs> Yes, that's right. <laughs> that one, mm-hmm. he went to smite. Not Abraham. And he pursued them unto Hobah. Well, somebody will say that's when he was Abram. <laughs> <laughs> the ham came that last, <laughs> which is on the left hand of Damascus, verse 16. Mm-hmm. And he brought back all the goods and also brought again his brother Lot oh. and his goods and the women also and the people. Mm. So we see where Abraham defeated. Mm-hmm. With the he help sure of God, did. yes. Um, these nations mm-hmm. that came and took his brother Lot mm-hmm. and the goods. So obviously Abraham has gotten spoils from that victory. Yes, and I got to point this out because you see how the enemy had taken Lot captive. Mm-hmm. When Abraham said he seen taking my brother Lot captive. That's what our women don't see. Because you yeah. see also he says, and he brought back the women also. And so if the you women. destroy your men, what you, what you think going to happen to you? You ain't going captive, just the men. Yeah. They going to be destroyed, but you not. not. Y'all better wake up. They're living in mm-hmm. Lala, man. This enemy is real. Okay. okay. 18 through 20. 18. And Melchizedek, king of Salem, brought forth bread and wine. Oh, so here we go. Melchizedek. Mm-hmm. And he brought forth bread and wine. Mm-hmm. Did Jesus use bread and wine? <laughs> yes, he mm-hmm. sure did. Mm-hmm. He said, "This is my new covenant." Yes, take eat mm-hmm. this bread. This is represent my body. body. Yes, drink, drink ye all, all of, of it. it. That's right. And he was the priest of the Most High God. Oh, and he was the priest mm-hmm. of the Most High God. I didn't see Aaron or nothing anywhere Me right either. here. Mm -mm. Mm. Verse 19 And he blessed him And said And Melchizedek blessed him Abraham Blessed be Abram of the most high God Possessor of heaven and earth Mm. And he And blessed be the most high God Which have delivered thine enemies Into thy hand Now watch this And he gave him tithes of all Mm. Abraham gave him the tithes. tithes. That's why the writer of Hebrews said gave him a tenth of all. Mm-hmm. Yes. Think about that now. That's right. So what this writer doing, he's making a point mm-hmm. about this Melchizedek mm-hmm. who Jesus is the order after Melchizedek. Mm-hmm. That's right. Okay. Um, we'll go back to Hebrews 7 and verse 5. Okay. Hebrews verse Chapter 7 and verse 5. Yes, ma'am. And it reads, And verily, they that are of the sons of Levi, who receive the office of the priesthood. Okay, and so truly, they that are the sons of Levi, Mm -hmm. who receive the office of the priesthood. They receive that office. Mm -hmm. That's right. And we're going to look at that. Not all, uh, not all Israel, but the sons of Levi, have a commandment to take tithes of the people according to the law, that is of their brethren, though they came out of the loins of Abraham. Mm. So they receive tithes, mm-hmm. and they come from Abraham, mm-hmm. and according to the law, they are commanded to take tithes from. Their brethren, their brethren mm-hmm. of the other tribes. Yes. Verse 6. But he whose descent is not counted from them received tithes of Abraham. But he's basically, but again, think about it. He whose descent is not counted mm-hmm. without father, without mother. We don't know yes. where he descend from. Mm-hmm. Received tithes of Abraham. Abraham. Mm-hmm. And blessed him 
that had the promise. So he getting them. Mm-hmm. He getting them to think. Yes, that's right. Okay, let's go to Numbers eighteen and verse twenty-one. Okay. He's showing you how important this priest is. Mm -hmm. sure that is. there is a difference. That there is a superiority. Mm -hmm. That's right. Over the inferior. Yes. Numbers 18 and 21. Okay. Numbers 18 and verse 21 reads, And behold, I have given the children of Levi all the tenth in Israel for an inheritance, for their service which they serve, even the service of the tabernacle of the congregation. Okay. Verse uh, 24. Verse 24. But the tithes of the children of Israel, which that they offer as an heave offering unto the Lord, I have given to the Levites to inherit. Therefore, I have said unto them, among the children of Israel, they shall have no inheritance. Mm, so we see where well, he said, having have a commandment to take tithes of the people yes according to the law according to it um let's go back to hebrews 7 and verse 7 okay okay verse 7 says and with all, and without all contradiction the less is blessed of the better mm. and without all contradiction with no doubt mm -hmm. the less is blessed oh. of the better. Mm -hmm. Who is the better? This Melchizedek. Mm -hmm. Okay, verse 8. Verse 8. And here, men that die receive tithes. Mm. So the men that die, who was that? The Levites. Mm -hmm. They die. Yes. Though they receive tithes. But there he receiveth them of whom it is witness that he liveth. Mm. But there he receiveth them of whom it is witness that he liveth. Mm. That's what made Melchizedek greater than yes, them. That's right. Because he lived yeah. forevermore. Mm -hmm. They died. That's right. Mm -hmm. So it's showing you just that alone that that Melchizedek priesthood is much more superior. Yes, absolutely. Okay, verse 9. Verse 9. And as I and as I may so say, Levi also, who received tithes, paid tithes in mm -hmm. Abraham. And so he just added on to say, and I may also say <laughs> that Levi himself, being in Abraham's mm -hmm. loins, mm -hmm. paid tithes to Melchizedek. Just think about that. Mm -hmm. My goodness. Verse 10. For he was yet in the loins of his father. See, he wasn't born yet. He mm -hmm. was still in the loins of his father. When Melchizedek met him. Mm. Mm. Okay. Verse 11. The, if therefore perfection were by the Levitical priesthood. Well, take this slow. If therefore perfection were by the Levitical priesthood priesthood mm -hmm. for under it the people received the law if you see this in parentheses that mean it was added by the translators mm -hmm. what further need was there that another priest should rise after the order of Melchizedek mm. and we're going to look at that what that means by if therefore perfection mm -hmm. were by the Levitical priesthood and not be called after the order of Aaron. So if this perfection could be attained mm -hmm. through the Levitical priesthood, mm -hmm. then why did we need a priest? Why should a priest rise up after, after. the order of Melchizedek instead of Aaron? Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay. Let's go to Hebrews 9. Okay. Just a chapter or so over. Okay. Hebrews 9 and verse 9. We're going to look at that, what he okay. meant by perfection. All right. Let me use my phone because my Hebrews 9 is missing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I got to get another Bible. Okay. 
Hebrews. But while she uh, looking for that, we have got to separate these two priesthoods. Two priesthoods cannot be running and operating at the same time. Okay. Only one. Mm -hmm. Just one. And the writer here in Hebrews is making a difference. Mm -hmm. A difference. Um, uh, the priesthood under Aaron and under Melchizedek ain't running at the same time. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not happening. Nope. Okay, Hebrews 9 and verse 9. Hebrews 9 and 9, which was a figure. Well, we'll read verse 8. Verse 8? Okay. Mm -hmm. Verse Hebrews 9 and 8. It says, the Holy Ghost, this signifying that the way into the holiest of all was not yet made manifest, while as the first tabernacle was yet standing. And that first tabernacle pertained to who? The uh, Levi, mm -hmm. or uh, the order of Aaron. Mm -hmm. Verse 9. Which was a figure for the time then present. Which was a figure it was an illustration mm -hmm. it was a shadow for the time then present in which were offered both gifts and sacrifices that could not make him that did the service perfect mm. as pertaining to the conscience could not make him that did the service perfect fit mm -hmm. okay verse 10 Verse 10 says, which stood only in meats and drinks and divers washings and cornal ordinances imposed on them until the time of reformation. Uh-oh. We got to get this. We got to let this soak in our minds. Mm -hmm. Which stood only this system under the order of Aaron. Mm-hmm. It stood in meats and drinks and diver washings, washings and carnal ordinances. These are the rites and the regulations mm -hmm. under that tavern, uh, under the order of Aaron, Aaron pertaining to that first tabernacle. Yes. Mm -hmm. Imposed on them until, mm -hmm. underline that. Until. Un Till. If it's something until, do it means it's going to keep going? Mm -mm. It's going to keep stop. running? No, no. it doesn't stop. Mm -hmm. Until. Until mm -hmm. the time of reformation, reformation when there would be a change. Yes. Mm -hmm. Verse 11. Verse 11. Now watch this. But Christ. Stop. But Christ. Mm -hmm. But Christ. Being come and high priest of good things to come. Of good things to come. By a greater and more perfect tabernacle, not made with hands, that is to say not of this building. All right. So that old way, mm -hmm. he just told you right there in verse 10, meats and drinks and mm -hmm. divers washings and all of these rules and regulations that came with that the order Aaron priesthood mm -hmm. that is we're not under that anymore mm -hmm. no Christ brought in what is better yes under the order of Melchizedek if mm -hmm. that makes sense yeah, I don't know that's if why he said it was a figure it was a, it was figure. a type of it, that yes uh, Melchizedek order which was to come mm. okay okay let's go back to uh, Hebrews 7 and read verse 12 okay Hebrews 7 and 12 it says for the priesthood being changed uh, stop let's let that sit <laughs> for the priesthood being what now changed no it's still going mm -mm, it's still going to be in effect Change. Even when Jesus get back, he gonna fire the uh, he gonna fire back up the old, the priesthood. No, it said changed. It says changed. That what your Bible say? It said changed. Mm. Mm -hmm. There is made of necessity a change also mm. of the law. Mm. 
So if there's a change in this priesthood, there must be a change of the what? Of the law. Oh. Mm -mm. But we'll act like we don't we don't see that. Yeah. That's what it says. Mm. Um, verse 13. For he of whom these things are spoken pertaineth to another tribe of which no man have attendance at the altar. So it says, for he of whom these things are spoken mm -hmm. pertaineth to another tribe. Yep. He belongs to another tribe, tribe that is right. not Levi. Mm -hmm. Of which no man gave attendance to the altar. Yes. Because the Lord said the Levites, mm -hmm. that, this is their job. Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. But watch this, verse 14. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Mm. Oh, so he sprang out of Judah. Mm -hmm. So that's that other tribe. That's the other tribe. Mm -hmm. Of which tribe Moses spake nothing concerning priesthood. Yeah, Moses didn't say no priest was going to be coming out of Judah. Mm -mm. <laughs> he, sure he was told Levi. That's right. Mm -hmm. He's just making a point here, y'all about this change that has taken place a clear change yes all right um verse 15 verse 15 and it is yet far more evident for that after the similitude of melchizedek there ariseth another priest mm. and he says and it is yet far more evident mm -hmm. it, this is clear yes for that after the similitude of Melchizedek, one who is like him, mm -hmm. has risen. Another priest. Another priest. Mm -hmm. Okay, verse 16. Who is made not after the law of, carnal, of a carnal commandment, but after the power of an endless life. Mm. So... He is a priest, mm -hmm. made priest, not after the law of a carnal commandment. Mm -hmm. Because remember, you had to physically belong to, to the tribe Levi. of Levi yes. mm -hmm. to do the work of the priest. That's right. But he said, but what after the power, power of, of an endless, endless life? Mm -hmm. Verse 17. For he testified, thou art a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. Mm -hmm. And so what he's saying basically this is pointed out in this particular uh, verse that mm -hmm. comes from the Psalms. Mm -hmm. Thou art a priest forever after the mm -hmm. order of Melchizedek. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, verse 18. For there is verily a disannulling of the commandment going before for the weakness and unprofitableness thereof. Mm. Now, I looked up disannulled, and it means um, annulled or made void mm -hmm. or abolished. For there is truly a disannulling or an abolishment or voiding mm -hmm. of the commandment going before, meaning it's set aside because mm -hmm. it's weak yep. and useless. Mm -hmm. Okay, verse 19. For the law made nothing perfect yes the law didn't make nothing perfect but the bringing in of a better hope did by the which we draw nigh unto god uh -huh. now let's go see what all of that means let's go to romans 8 1 through 4 okay and it is not that the law is evil mm -mm. but it was just powerless to bring us to righteousness that's right mm-hmm to justify us mm -hmm. in the eyes of God. Not that it itself was evil. Mm -mm. But the fault yes, was in us. In us, yes. Romans 8, 1 through 4. Okay. Romans chapter 8 and verse 1. It says, There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus. Who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. So there is now no condemnation. Mm -hmm. That's what the law brought you yes. when you broke it. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it could not declare you righteous and now you're holy and all. Uh-uh. Because -uh. Mm -hmm. the law said, uh-uh, you sinned against me. That's right. 
Mm-hmm. Now you need someone to overturn that condemnation. Mm-hmm. That's right. And that's why he says there is no condemnation in them that in who? In Christ Jesus. And ain't he the high priest? Yes. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Verse 2. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus have made me free from the law of sin and death. Mm. So the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus Mm -hmm. have made me free from the what now? The Mm -hmm. law of sin and death. Mm -hmm. And that's why he said it can't make you perfect. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because you sinned. And now that law is saying you must be put to death. That's right. Verse 3. For what the law could not do, in that it was weak through the flesh, Mm. God sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh, and for sin, condemned sin in the flesh. Oh. Yep. So this is what he's talking about. Mm Mm-hmm. Verse 4. That the righteousness... Of the law might be fulfilled in us. Oh, that the righteousness of the law, the righteousness of it, might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Mm, the walking after the spirit. Mm-hmm. Okay. So that righteousness of the law, this is the perfection of it. Mm-hmm. So uh, I don't know if I'm explaining it right because mm-hmm. a lot of this stuff I'm just you know your eyes be open yes and then trying to explain <laughs> trying to make it, it it's, say it's what's very in your head. it's very tough mm-hmm. it's not easy yeah okay um, now going back to because uh, I forgot to point this out but Hebrews chapter seven and verse um, where it says for the law made nothing perfect but the bringing in of a better hope did. This better hope is what? Like justification from Mm -hmm. sin. uh, And made righteous through Jesus Christ. Yes. This is a better hope. Mm -hmm. And it's going to what? Bring us to what? Eternal life versus when when you sin against the law, it's going to bring you eternal death. death. That's right. Okay. And then under this better hope, we can repent and be mm-hmm. justified for sins that we couldn't be justified from yes. um, under the law. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, verse 20. Verse 20, Hebrews 7. And in so much as not without an oath, he was made priest. Mm. Okay. 21, for, which was a uh, thing added by the translators. Yes. For those priests were made without an, with, for those priests were made without an oath, but this with an oath by him that said unto him, mm. the Lord swear and would not repent. Thou art a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. All right, verse twenty-two. By so much was Jesus made a surety of a better testament. Mm. So by this oath, Mm -hmm. Jesus was made a surety. And if you look up surety, it means pledge, Mm -hmm. a person that makes himself responsible for another person, Mm -hmm. a sponsor, security against loss or damage. Mm -hmm. But he became a surety or a mediator of a what? A better, Mm -hmm. the same? Better. Better. They on the same level. Better. So it's a better mm-hmm. covenant. Yes. Mm. Okay, verse um twenty three. Okay, verse twenty three says, and they truly were many priests, mm-hmm. because they were not suffered to continue by reason of death. Right, and so in this order Melchizedek, it was many priests mm-hmm. because of death. Yes. That priest die, and then the next priest raise up. And then the next priest after that. Then the next priest after that. But watch this. Verse 24. But this man. But this man. Mm-hmm. Because he continueth forever. Hath, he continueth ever. Mm-hmm. Hath an unchangeable priesthood. Oh. 
an unchangeable priesthood. It go on forever. It'll never oh, change. So ain't gonna be no kick back up the right. Levitical priesthood and start <laughs> sacrificing during the ain't millennium. Ain't gonna be none of that. Oh, as because it's unchangeable. Now think about that in comp- comparison to what he said back up in twelve for the priesthood being changed. Talking mm-hmm. about the order of mm-hmm. Aaron. So it has changed, but he's yes. saying this priesthood will never change. change. Mm-hmm. That's right. Okay, verse 25. <laughs> Wherefore, he is able also to save them to the uttermost that come unto God by him, seeing he ever liveth to make intercession for them. Ah, so because of this, mm-hmm. because his priesthood never changed, because he never died, he lives forever. He is what? Able to save them yeah. to the uttermost mm-hmm. that come unto God. By, by who? Him. him. Mm-hmm. The old priesthood. By him. No, we need Aaron and them again. <laughs> by him. Him, seeing he liveth to make intercession for them. For them. And assist, intercession means to mediate between two parties at odds. Mm. Prayer, request to one party in favor of another. Mm. Mm. So he is our mediator. He yes. is our high priest. Yes. Let's go to John chapter 12 and verse 34. Okay. So this uh, priesthood of Melchizedek, it is nothing new. Mm-mm. Nope. The Lord had always intended to pass this down. Mm-hmm. But when Israel messed up, when they sinned, instead of becoming a kingdom of priests, they became a kingdom with priests. Mm-hmm. But Jesus Christ came to God. bring it back. Mm. And it ain't going to never change. Never. Okay, John 12 and 34. Uh-huh. It says, the people answered him, we have heard out of the law. We have heard out of the law, watch this. That Christ abideth forever. Oh, that Christ abideth forever. Mm-hmm. The anointed one mm-hmm. that we are waiting to come. Yes. We are expecting him. Mm-hmm. That he abideth forever. And how sayest thou, the son of man must be lifted up? Who is this son of man. Mm. See, they didn't know. Mm-hmm. But we know. Oh, yes. <laughs> we know who he is. He's that high priest. Mm-hmm. That's right. They just could not understand him. Just like a lot of our people don't understand. Mm-hmm. Do not understand the law. Yes. That's right. They don't understand that it was a shadow. A shadow. Of the reality mm-hmm. that was to come, which is Jesus Christ. That's right. Let's go to Isaiah 59 and verse 16. Okay. We got Romans 8 there. Is that right? Uh, oh, you know what? Romans 8 and 34. Okay. It must have been the way I wrote it. Oh, okay. I'm still on the skip. Doing pretty good without my glasses. Oh, that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, because he says that... Um, let me go to Hebrews. I've been doing a good job not saying it's Paul yeah, writing it. You did, I, yeah, you did better than I did. Because <laughs> you were doing it a lot oh, less. Pauling up some. <laughs> uh, we come in here because it's saying, um, it said in Hebrews 7, 25, seeing he ever liveth to make intercession. Mm-hmm. Okay, so Romans 8, 34. Okay, Romans chapter 8 and verse 34. And it reads, Who is he that condemneth? It is Christ that died, yea, rather, that is risen again, who is even at the right hand of God, who also maketh intercession for us. Oh, 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 oh. there it is. There you mm-hmm. go. Yep. And now we'll go to Isaiah 59 and okay. verse 16. Isaiah 59 and verse 16. And it says, And he saw that there was no man, and wondered that there was no intercessor. Oh, no intercessor. 
Therefore his arm brought salvation unto him, and his righteousness, it sustained him. Mm. Mm -hmm. And we know who that intercessor mm -hmm. is. It is Jesus the Christ. Yes. Uh, 1 John 2, 1 through 2. Okay. 1 John chapter 2 and verse 1. And it says, My little children, these things write I unto you, that you sin not. No, you keep on sinning. That you sin you not. You got grace now. <laughs> sin not. So no, you don't sin. Mm -mm. So that means it is some commandments to keep. Yes, that's right. You mm -hmm. don't live foul and wicked just because Christ came and, and died for your sins. That's right. Get your ATM out and swipe some <laughs> grace points off. No. Nope. <laughs> mm -hmm. But watch this. That you sin not, and if any man sin. Now, but if you do sin. We have an advocate with the Father. We have an intercessor. We have a mediator. Mm -hmm. With the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, verse 2. And he is our propitiation for our sins. Mm. And not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. Okay, so he is the atonement for our sins. Mm -hmm. He offered up his life. Yes. The uh, Under the order, Aaron, they ain't offer up their life. Mm -mm. They offered up lives of bulls and goats. And That's right. Oxes. Mm -hmm. That's but right. Christ gave himself. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, let's go back to uh, Hebrews 7 and 26. This is some good stuff. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, my wheels turn. So, so don't y'all see already that the superiority of Christ? Mm -hmm. But we try to bring Christ to equal level with Levi in the order mm -hmm. Aaron or beneath. No, Christ is above. Yes. That's why the writer using words like better yes mm -hmm. better that's right mm -hmm. and he, he's also showing you um how under the uh order of Aaron how it just it pales in comparison by showing the weakness of it you mm -hmm. got high priests that die they sin Christ mm -hmm. didn't sin no. but they had to make uh atonement for their own sins mm -hmm. as well as the people that's right Mm -hmm. So we need to stop mixing these two priesthoods, putting them together. Yes. No, it's Jesus Christ after the order of Melchizedek. And the nation of Israel are priests right under him. Yes. That's why he got us in training. Mm -hmm. What do you think all this is? Yes. We are in training because we're priests. That's right. Mm -hmm. Offering up spiritual sacrifices yes, sir. walking like Christ talking like Christ mm -hmm. having the mind of Christ why because you were a priest yes. after the order of Melchizedek mm -hmm. you couldn't do that under the order of Aaron only they, they could, could be do. priests that's right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay so anyway Hebrews 7 and verse 26 Hebrews 7 and 26 for such an high priest became us who is holy harmless undefiled, separate from sinners, and made higher than the heavens. Mm. So for such an high priest became us. Mm. Who is what now? Holy. holy. This is what makes him better. Mm -hmm. He's holy, harmless, undefiled, separate from sinners, and made higher mm -hmm. than the heavens. Yes. That's what makes him better than mm -hmm. the old priests. Yes. They were sinners. Mm hmm They weren't blameless. That's All right. you got to do, go by and read it. for a sacrifice for themselves. Mm-hmm. You just look at Eli and his sons. There mm -hmm. you go. Right oh, there. my goodness, yeah. You <laughs> had Nate down. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So he's just making a point. Mm-hmm. Christ Jesus is far better. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. And he made higher than the heavens. heavens. These men, where they was at? Mm -hmm. On earth. Mm -hmm. Yes. Verse 27. Who needeth not daily as those high priests to offer up sacrifice 
for his own sin. So he um he don't need to do like those the high priests under the um order of Aaron. Mm -hmm. They they sacrifice daily. Yes. For what? For their own sins and then for the people. Yes. Christ and he ain't gotta do that. Mm mm. For this he did once. He did it one time. When he offered up himself. Hallelujah. Yes. We're finna shout. <laughs> Get your dancing shoes on. Yes, sir. Yes. And let me tell y'all the beauty in, 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 in understanding the shadow. When you understand the shadow, which is um, in the law, uh, it being that it was just a schoolmaster, a guide, it is the very principles in the building blocks of the understanding of what the law is in Christ you really truly see the significance of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Yes. You sure do. Because the Christian church, they were right about a lot of things mm -hmm. and nobody wanted to admit it. Nope. They was mm -hmm. right by a lot. They were not right about everything. Yeah, nope. But they was right about a lot. The problem with them was they took us all the way to university. Yes. Instead mm -hmm. of teaching us uh, grade one, through yes. grade 12 yes and then take us to university right. so we didn't know we didn't really feel the impact and the of, significance mm -hmm. of okay why did jesus die for that's us? we right. just knew he died for mm -hmm. our sins that's right we knew that jesus was lord and savior mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but okay so yes. i okay i love jesus we didn't understand the power of the blood but i'm telling you, once you understand that law mm -hmm. and you read it it makes your love for God grow more. It should yes. make you prideful about knowledge you think you have mm -hmm. or nothing. But you should look at it and, and, and it should strengthen yes. your relationship with your God. Yes. It should make you serve him that much harder. Yes, that's right. Because you can truly see his plan from the beginning mm -hmm. and how much he truly loves us. That's right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, verse 28. Okay. Hebrews 7 and 28 says, For the law maketh men um, high priests. So the law appointed high priests. Which have infirmity. Mm, weaknesses. Mm -hmm. Just like you're all of us. And they sin. Yes. But the word of the oath. The oath. See? I swear forever you are or, uh, a priest forever after the order, after the order of mm -hmm. Melchizedek. He didn't do that with the sons of Aaron. No. Which was since the law maketh the son who is consecrated forevermore. Mm. So his son is the perfect high priest. Yes. Forever. 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 Mm-hmm above and better mm -hmm. clearly let's go to leviticus 16 and verse 6 okay because those high priests he said they had to offer up sacrifice first for their own sins and then for the people yes well i should say his own sins because there could only be uh one high, high priest, priest but yeah. the writer says high priest because over time that's yeah. Down, you know, you had see. different yes. priests. Okay. Leviticus 16 and 6. All right. I tell y'all, we got to get in this book mm -hmm. and we got to study. Yes. Time out for all that doctrine and uh, that same old soup, watered mm -hmm. down mm -hmm. doctrine. Yes. And it's time to open this book up chapter it's by neat. chapter, mm -hmm. verse by verse. It's time to go from the milk. Once you get that milk down pipe, mm -hmm. it's time for you, after you done grown some teeth and you can chew. That's right. Get you, eat you some milk. Mm-hmm. That That's spiritual right. state. Yes. Well done, too. Mm -hmm. We don't want no, <laughs> we don't want no media <laughs> rap. <laughs> Leviticus 16 oh, and 6. <laughs> Leviticus 16 and 6 says, And Aaron shall make, and Aaron shall offer his bullock of the sin offering, which is for himself and make an atonement for himself and for his house. Mm, and for his house. So he had to make an atonement for who now? Himself. Self and. Did Christ have to do that? Himself? Mm -mm. No. 
because he was, he was perfect. Sin. That's right. But he offered himself. See, Aaron is offering up um, a bullock mm -hmm. for himself and uh, for the people. Mm -hmm. But Christ offered himself mm -hmm. yes. for the people. Yes. Mm -hmm. Boy, yes, Lord. Lord. <laughs> All right. Um, now, I was going to do that uh, Galatians 3, but I just feel led not to okay. go ahead and do it. But yeah, y'all, y'all, that's that's what it's about. We have to really um, separate these two priesthoods. Yes. Um, you know, us at, at Israel's church, we be we we're beginning to see that now, mm -hmm. and before we couldn't see it, because you have everybody taking a little bit of something mm -hmm. from both priesthoods. Yes. No, we are under Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. That's, that's right. why Moses told us, uh, told us from the beginning, there is one that's going to be like me. Mm -hmm. That's going to come. Hear ye him. That's right. And ask yourself, are you really listening mm -hmm. to Christ? That's right. Because he is the high priest that God has appointed with an oath. He that's swore. Right. Yep. So stop it with the re-kicking up and yeah. starting up of... Uh, the Levitical priesthood. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because only Christ can justify you. Right. Because you got a sins. misunderstanding of the vision Ezekiel had mm -hmm. about the temple. You yes. think that's talking about the millennium. Mm -hmm. He going to fire up the priesthood. No. no. <laughs> he just told you this priesthood is unchangeable. It's unchangeable. Yep. That Levitical is done. And you trying to put them side by side. No. Mm -hmm. these, no. This priesthood under order of Melchizedek with Jesus as the high priest mm -hmm. is superior. Yes. It's better. better. It's an improvement. Mm -hmm. It's yes. reformation. Mm -hmm. That's right. So we got to get away from that. And over time, y'all will see little bit by little bit, you know, us at Israel's church, we're going to start showing y'all these differences. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that we can come to the full knowledge of this thing of That's right. uh, Jesus Christ mm -hmm. and what it all means what yes. we're looking at mm -hmm. and if, so. if, if Christ being the high priest and it, it's unchanged it does not change he's the highest priest forever so if the little Levitical priest kicks back up then that okay Christ you gotta take a right. seat because we got another high priest right exactly who could die because he a man we need him he gonna come and start sacrificing right. and that makes no sense right we got um mm -hmm. to get understanding of what we read right. and stop eating off of these heathens plate because that's, that's where they too, get yes this junk yeah from. listen to all the heathens yeah mm -hmm. and that's why i won't say a lot of uh the teachers that y'all listen to you'll come to find out Exactly what you said. They mm -hmm. getting all of this information from the heathen. That's right. More specifically, those ishes. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's who they get it right. from. That's right. They full of ish. Yeah. They really <laughs> is. I'm just going to tell you. They are evil. Yes. They got evil teachers for you. Right. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's why a lot of your teachers can't explain a lot of um, their doctrines mm -hmm. because they didn't really come up with it. They just went and got it mm -hmm. from somewhere. Yes. That's right. Mm -hmm. And they're going to well, a lot of really mad stand. right now. Yes. I can't stand this real church. <laughs> but we going to keep on bringing it out. That's so right. So go on over there, bite the social media and slander and lie mm -hmm. and gossip. That's right. We got work to do. That's right. Mm -hmm. We got people to feed. Mm-hmm. So mm -hmm. that's your mind is blinded because you're 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 still under the shadow. Mm -hmm. That's right. But those of us who are following after the high priest Christ, that veil mm -hmm. is lifting. Yep. So that we can see clearly mm -hmm. the spirituality of yes. the word. Mm -hmm. Just like with this um, tabernacle. Yes. See, yeah. under that shadow, you're worried about the tent, you're worried about mm -hmm. the tabernacle and yes. all of that, and you're not understanding mm -hmm. what it was about. That's right. It's about Jesus Christ, and it's about his people being the tabernacle that he shall dwell in. Mm -hmm. But see, they run to the Levitical priesthood, and they mm -hmm. try to run back to Melchizedek and try to move them all right. together. And they, no, you can't, mm -hmm. can't merge the two. But that's what's happening. Mm. And that's why they confuse. That's right. They're confused, mm -hmm. and they come want to come debate you. Mm -hmm. No, we don't have time. Yep. 
because we digging deep. We getting knee deep in this. Mm-hmm. That's right. We out here in the water and you screaming from the shore. Yeah. Get back here. It's too deep. It's too deep. <laughs> ah! Man, you on the shore. What you worried about yes. me for? Mm-hmm. Yep. That's you you want to stay up there. That's right. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be like Ezekiel. I'm going to let the waters go to my ankles, to yep. my calves, That's to my knees. Yeah, like, oh, Lord. <laughs> yeah, be like Peter. Up here. <laughs> I'm going to stay in it, though. Yes. Because <laughs> it's uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. But then, boy, you get to swimming. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Okay, yep. you got back mm-hmm. stroking in the waters of God. Yes. And you look at fishermen, they, you have to launch out into the deep. They don't stay close to the water. Mm-hmm. They go way out in the milk. Sure do. Way out there. Yeah. And then that's when they get the fish, and they call it deep sea fish. Yes, sir. Mm hmm. Bringing in them real basses yep. and all that. You know. <laughs> Might be some sharks and stuff out there, but boy, you be. Catching them I'm fish. telling you, that's right. But our people are afraid of the sharks. They are afraid. Let them suck or swim. Mm-hmm. It's a dolphin nearby. <laughs> <laughs> Take that shark out. That's right. All in nature. All so, right, child. That's what I wanted to say. Uh, I pray that y'all got some kind of understanding as um, he's starting to get into this Melchizedek. So, yes. you had anything you want to add? Mm-hmm. Nope. I enjoyed All the lesson. All right. So with that said, we will say shalom. shalom.